Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Speed Test Tracker 2 on Dockage. So, uh, a little bit about this series, I'm going over at Home Labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today, Speed Test Tracker. Um, it's, it's a self-hosted internet uh, performance tracking application that runs speed test uh, checks against the Euclid Speed Test service, which is very popular. And then we can scroll on down. There was a, a speed test tracker and why I call this one two is because this was the first one and it was abandoned and uh, this person picked it up and uh, made the UI better and ma made the overall system better, I think. And um, this is based on L Laravel and um, so you can see the star history. You can see some screenshots of it, the latest download, the latest upload, the latest ping, and then uh, some graphs. Um, I Here's more of the dashboard, the results page. And then here's the results, uh, the settings, the general settings, the site name, the time zone, time format, speed test schedule. You can change the speed test servers right here. So that's what will be installed today. So now we're gonna start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to how to install Speed Test Tracker 2 on Dockage right here. And then I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So version 3.3 of Docker Compose is being used. That's the file for formatting. And then the ser services, I'm going to set some services. And then the service underneath service is called Speed Test Tracker. The container name is called Speed Test Tracker. And this is so you don't get a random name on Docker. And then ports is 8080 on the host and 80 on the container. The left side is the host side, and the right side is the container side. 8443 on the, uh, the the host side, and then on the container is 443, and that will use a self-signed certificate. The environment variables are set right here, so 1000, 1000, so user ID fi file permissions, and the group ID f uh, file permissions. Um, I'm going to set some uh, DB credentials down here. So DB connection is MySQL, DB host is DB, and this aligns with the service name down here. And then the DB port is 3306. And then the speed test tracker, the database name, the, uh, the DB username is called Speedy, and that's down here. And the DB password is password. You can set your own time zone, which is set to UTC right now, but I would set it to your time zone right here. In the end, I'm gonna set some volumes. So the ETC local time is on the host side. And then on the container side is ETC local time. That is read only right here. In the end, speed test tracker config, that's on the host side. And this is on the container side, config. Speed test tracker web, uh, this is on the ho host side. It's a local volume. These two are local volumes. And then ETC SSL a web is on the container side. The image is uh, coming off GitHub because of the URL right here. And the uh, this is the doc Docker image right here. And then this is the tag, which is the latest tag. I'm gonna set a restart policy of unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for a reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then this container right here depends on the DB right here because these credentials are the same as these or should be. And this container right here stores the data in this container. It's the MariaDB. So the service right here is underneath ser uh, services and it's called DB. And then the image is MariaDB and that's coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. It's gonna use a Docker image tag of 10. And then restart always means that if, it, if you stop it or any other reason, then it will always try to restart. 
Okay, I'm gonna set some var variables for the MariaDB da database, and this should align with the DB da da database up here, speed test tracker. And then the MariaDB user should align with the DB username up here. The DB password up here should align with the MariaDB password down here. And this is the random root password and set to true to randomly generate one. And then I'm gonna set a volume down here. Uh, it's a local vo volume. Uh, and that's speed test tracker DB. And on the container side is var lib mysql. The speed test tracker DB local volume right here is on the host, and this is on the container. And then now these volumes um, are right here, speed test tracker config, speed test tracker web, and then speed test tracker DB are set down here. So the volumes and then the names of the volumes, and then this is the local uh, uh, vo uh, Docker volumes. So I'm gonna go over here to copy raw file and then I'm gonna go over to my dockage and get this set up and sold. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So I'm gonna start on my dockage. I'm gonna go up to the settings and then the about so I'm on 1.3.3 is the version of my dockage I'm using. You could be using a newer version, and if this uh, video is outdated, let me know in the comments. So I'm going to go into Compose. Um, so I'm gonna put a stack name in, um, and I'll do speed test tracker to do stack. Okay, now once I do that, I'm going to go over the editor right here. I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. So, you'll notice that uh, this is in sync. So, so you can change over here, and then it'll change over here in the editor. Um, so, uh, you can see that you can change the DB as well. And then, I'm going to go over here to deploy. So, I'm going to deploy it. And now it's creating the volumes, it's creating the container, and it's up and running. So now you can see in the co uh, console logs down here uh, that the connection is refused. This will happen. It's got to go through it and start up the DB. So you can see it's working now, and the da database did mi migrate, and um, it's all set, and it should be listening on the ports. So we got it up and running. So now I'm going to start on dockage. I'm gonna go over to speed test tracker two stack. And then, uh, so it shows active and it has an edit button down here so you can edit the uh, deployment. So you can edit the containers over here and then it'll sync over here and back and forth. Um, you can close that. You can delete the container and it'll delete out of here. You can add a container and it'll add it underneath the services over here. And you can add a URL you can also come down here and you can add environment variables and internal networks, external networks. Um, you can come up here to save, stop and down, and then di di discard your changes that you made over here. So I'm gonna discard. So you can restart the stack. So it goes through and restarts the cont containers. And you can see that the logs are down here. So it's really handy to be able to see the logs right, right away. Um, you can update the current con containers uh, so, so you can pull down the uh, ta tags, uh, uh, update the local cache, and then it redeploys them. So, so you can do it. So, so you can see it did it to the DB and the speed test tracker. You can come down over here to uh, stop. You can stop the stack, stop and down, and then you can just delete the stack completely. You can come down here and you can see the containers that are in the stack. So you can see the, uh, this container is running and this container is running. You can see the ports that are listening on. So 8080 and then 8443 for the HTTPS. You can go into the containers and then you can go to bash. And there, there you go. You can also switch to SH. Um, you can go back to the stack. You can do that in the DB as well. And now we're in the DB. So you can also see the logs, like I said, you can see the current Docker Compose, and this is read only. 
you will have to go up here to edit to edit it actually. So that's a little bit about the stack options. So now I'm gonna go to the UI. So I'm gonna go into speed test tracker to stack right here. And then I'm going to go to the ports. So I'm gonna go to 8080. Now I'm gonna sign in right here. So the email address is admin at example.com. And then I'm gonna put a password is password. And this is the default. So admin at example.com and then password for your password actually. So I'm gonna sign in. And now you can see that um, it went back to the screen. So it's weird how this happens now. So I'm going to go over to my browser and I'm going to go to admin. So now I'm gonna just add admin onto the actual IP address. And um, so you can collapse the menus over here. You can also queue a speed test. So you can queue one up. You can see the results when you have one and you can filter and then the columns and the filters right here. You can see the users. So you can add a new user right here to a two here. So it can be authentication system where you can have multiple people and then you can view them. You can edit the user. You can see the created and the updated. Then you can go over the general settings. You can change the site name. You can change the display time zone right here. You can change the time format. You can change the speed test schedule with uh, the cr uh, cron jobs. So you can leave it empty to disable the scheduling. You can also go to the cr cron job ge generator right here and you can put in a different one right here. You can select the Ookla speed test servers down here, the ones that you want. You can set up public dashboards to where you can turn that on or off. When you go to the home, it'll have the public dashboard. Um, you can set up InfluxDB, and then you can set up the notifications. So you can do da uh, database notifications, mail, telegram, and then you can save changes and just put these on or off. And then you have different settings. So, so not a notify on every speed test run, notify on threshold, uh, failures you can add recipients right here so you can go over to thresholds you can turn this on or off and download upload ping you can also delete all the data and completely get rid of everything you can see the documentation right here so you can also go up here and you can see uh, the light mode which is already enabled you can see the dark mode and then you can also that there's a glitch right here when you go to dark mode you have to reload the page to get back into this menu and then you can set the system uh, a default right here and then you can sign out so that's a little bit about speed test tracker and you can see oh the you can see the I download the upload and the lightest ping you can also see the graphs right here and the ping is pretty nice and then the jitter so that's a little bit about speed test tracker you are. So I just showed you step by step on running speed test tracker 2 on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.